What's going on guys? I'm using my phone light to light this up. This is the night before the back and biceps um, week two starts. So we've got a pizza and some pasta and a hot chocolate and some Hagen dazs and we're watching Peaky Blinders. Peaky fatting blinders. So we'll see you in the morning. What's going on guys? We've got our bowl of porridge to start the day. Looking bizarre and fantastic as ever. So we're going to get this down us, get our pre-workout down us and head off to the gym. What's going on YouTube? It is Greg Luck Fitness here and I'm walking to the gym. You've seen I've eaten my porridge this morning. I also had a bit of leftover pizza. Naughty naughty. So we are going to hit some back and biceps today and I think I'm going to go with the voiceover technique again. That's getting some good, good comments on it so we'll go along with that technique. Wearing the vest today, gym shot vest. I'm in the gym now. I was going to do deadlifts, but literally my hamstrings are absolutely blown out from leg day. Uh, two, two days ago, I think it was. Delayed onset muscle soreness, so yeah, it's about right. I haven't really hit legs that hard for ages, so we're going to skip deadlifts today, which I'm going to have to bang it up even heavier next deadlift session. So we're moving on to the first exercise, which I think is lap pull down. Yo, yo, yo. These are the scores we have to beat. If it's not on for long enough, just pause the screen and uh, have a little look. So we have to beat the weights every single week. Starting off with lat pull down. Training in my vest today, so you can see the, the muscle movements a bit better. Wide grip on this. And try not to let your shoulders raise too much. Mine are only raising slightly. I think that's actually the muscle rather than like the actual joint raising up. After lat pull down, bent over rows. Using a different angle this time, increase it to 34 as well. Not bad squeeze at the top there. I mean, there's so many different angles you can actually like use to do rows. All right, third back exercise, pull-ups. I actually only got like eight reps. Well, you'll see all the results after, but I'm working more on the symmetry. If you watched my first week one, the symmetry was terrible. Uh, one side of my back was pulling more and that's just going to cause muscular imbalances and then that's going like, to wreck everything but as you'll see in a sec I'm not exactly happy from the the actual results alright fourth back exercise and this is the last back exercise we have got shrugs so back is one of the smaller uh, shorter training for the plans but oh well it's a good workout What's going on guys, just finished the back workout part of the session, apart from the deadlifts of course, like I said, the uh, hamstrings are fucked. This is the results I got. So we beat it all, we didn't do deadlift because of our hamstrings. So as you can see I beat all the weights from last time, apart from pull-ups, uh, where unfortunately I didn't do as well but yesterday I trained shoulders and triceps hard as you've seen in the previous video so I do kind of put it down to that a bit but I also put it down to the fact that I was concentrating more on form trying to get symmetry like obviously it's really important and if you've got the chance to like record yourself and analyse that you're going wrong that's where you can easily implement it um, really focusing on getting both sides of your back exactly the same so yeah I'm, I'm happy with the results still next biceps so let's see if we can be the scores, which is going to be hard because I have to dumbbell curl 22s then for 10, at least 3 sets. Alright, on to the bicep curls then, start off the old biceps on this. Remember to do 15 reps, 2 sets, warm up before we actually move into the working set. 22s is probably too heavy for me, but I used a rest pause and actually I kept my form decent. I start to like swing and sway a little bit, but... My form isn't actually that bad, I'm not cheating as much as I could be, you know, you see those people fully swinging the dumbbell behind the ears. But yeah, I think I kept decent form, it could have obviously been better, but next time I'll have to use 24s for at least 1 to 2 uh, sets. Then again, my biceps are obviously fatigued from all of the back work, so I'm pretty happy with using the 22s. So at this point, I just think rest pause, then I get my last two reps on each arm a little swing but it is pretty controlled belief all right guys form was lacking a bit there but we did get the 10 reps eventually with one rest pause i actually said in this plan you can use one rest pause so i'm going to stick with 22s try and get at least one more set and then drop to 20s and get two sets so that's better than last time i had to drop to 16s i'll show you the comparison of the results 
obviously after. We managed to get all four sets with 22 kilograms on the biceps, got a fucking juicy bump now. The thing is, I did one rest pause in each set, which was a 10 second rest pause, so I get to like eight reps on each arm, and that's when I need a little rest. So, as I go on, the endurance will go up. Obviously, next time I have to do at least one set of 24, so this is where we start to get stronger and stronger and stronger until we bang in the 30s. Let's go. Okay, second bicep exercise, we've got the rope hammer curls. I am actually rushing this a little bit too much, I'm not sure why I just... It's one of those exercises that I like to go a little bit faster on, but I do squeeze at the top. I only split the rope slightly. Alright, then we've got standing barbell curls. Managed to move this up all 5 kilograms. I am struggling a little bit. My endurance is actually... It's not what it should be. Um, it will get better, obviously. I did eat well though before this. I had porridge and leftover pizza, so the carbs were in. And here uh, I decided to get the old hoodie back off as it is actually too warm. The sun wasn't out today, but it was very humid. Onto the side hammer curls. Bumped it up to 20 kilograms. Didn't have too many problems with this. The form, I think, does start to lack at the end. But uh, Tips on this one. Try not to lean forward too much. It is hard because remember the weight's in front of you in this exercise and obviously it's 20 kilograms. So it can kind of like tilt you a bit forward. But always keep looking forward with your head. Try not to pigeon neck and keep it controlled. Try and get that squeeze at the top. That's the important part. And coming back down, squeeze and then come back down. Try to control it down but it is hard. Alright, last bicep exercise. I decided to do this on the Preacher Car machine this time. So I'm using 23 kilograms. So as you see, I'm face side on, and that's purely just for better form, better contractions, and it's easier on the shoulder joint. Thanks a lot for listening to this voiceover, guys. All comments are appreciated. That's week two of back and biceps complete. Here are the results. And right now we're gonna get this protein, Dennis. It's lemon cheesecake flavor. Now I'm swallowed. Now I'm the fool. Why Let's just get out of Sainsbury's though to Morrison's to see if we've got any cheaper almond milk. I don't drink dairy milk, and almond milk in Sainsbury's is 160 for a litre. In Tesco, it's a pound, but that's a bit like of a walk out of my distance, really. Not in my distance, sorry, out of my way. So we're going to check Morrison's if they ain't got any in Morrison's. Might just get some dry serum. Eat it dry. From Sainsbury's, I just picked up four cans of tuna, 390, Sainsbury's own brand. But I have actually read somewhere that Sainsbury's own brand is the actual best quality tuna that you can buy, better than John Weston Prince's. Also, I've got some roasted vegetables, which you'll see, and what else? And some banana stuff. So. Gonna eat those all, Let's get them all in, man. Need to smash my carb levels up again, like as you saw out some ice cream last night. But you know, we need to keep this high carb if we're trying to gain a little bit. Obviously, I'm trying to lean bulk, so the fats have got to stay a bit lower. Um, I suppose the ice cream is just a bit of a refeed. I don't really eat that stuff all the time. So let's go in Morrison's and see what we can pick up. Coming up to the milk mare, who says it's going to be a pound? Oh my god, something's a pound. Uh, soya, junior fresh soya, junior fresh soya. Where's the almond? They don't even have any. They have roasted almonds, but. Oh well, the unsweetened sold out, but one pound seventy-seven. It's even more expensive in here. So I think we're gonna have to go for some soya. I think. Here are the macros, and it actually says it's nutritionally tailored as a main drink for children one year onwards. So I'm a child from one year onwards. So I'm gonna get some of this stuff. All right, we're also gonna pick up this short tiger stick. Eat the whole thing when we're back. All right, guys, we're going with Crave. It's extremely expensive, but it's actually on offer. It's 1.78 for 350 grams. So we'll probably just do it half of this box. No, I'm just kidding. Gonna try and cut these portions down, man, so it lasts a bit longer. This is today's post-workout meal. I do like to get the meal in before I start editing the actual video, so you know, apart from the protein shake, I've actually got some food in me. So we've got three bananas, they're so not exactly big. And um, we've got some Mediterranean vegetables, which really cheap, I suppose, 99p. You get quite a lot in there. And 
I'm just going to have one can of tuna. So that'll be my post-workout meal. Then I'll probably eat twice again before bed. Well, at least twice. And then a snack like the cereal or something. Or some egg whites. You know, just get the protein levels in. Thanks a lot for watching this back and biceps workout, guys. I hope you like the voiceover. I hope you like the post-workout meal, as always. If you want anything else in these videos, just ask. Also, I just want to bring up the Manchester Blast, as it's been called. I think it's an extremely cowardly act. And it's so disgusting and it's so unfortunate for people that have died and obviously they've died they've got friends they've got family it is just it's, a, it's just a waste isn't it really it's just a waste of of a life and of a life of 20 lives i think it's 20 so far i think 20 killed 59 injured i mean i was looking at like lex fitness's um instagram story and you know you can just see the impact that it's having on everybody. Open your Facebook up, I guarantee everyone's sharing the news articles, which is another point that I want to mention. Our news, mainstream news, we're giving them too much publicity. Like, it's holding up a sign saying Manchester and that, like, it's too much, like, then everyone's sharing it on Facebook. And what they want is for that to happen. So, you know, they're actually getting what they want. So obviously there are ways to cut down on that and hopefully they will be employed but it's a cowardly act and when will it stop man, when will it stop? Thanks a lot for watching guys, my thoughts are out with all the people, um, you know if anyone's watching this that was involved or anything and if you ever want to chat or you know if you was in the area or anything just hit me up, Instagram Griglock Fitness, smash the DM section and obviously I'll reply. Thanks a lot for all the support again, 633 subscribers, we're gaining every single day, it's overwhelming us out. Thanks a lot.